Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about Sule Ali Montari and it's not football related but because he is a former footballer i just thought this is amazing news i like to share with you amazing news is all i share on this channel so the montari has sick welcomed his second child congratulations to the montari family his wife revealed it in an interview on gh1 tv we're talking extensively about that thomas party uh, to arsenal it's getting heated up arsenal have secured obama young for the tw for the next uh, three years on a new deal and it looks like probably Thomas Party might be in but someone interesting has called for Thomas Party to join Arsenal over Twitter and uh, I'll be revealing to you who that is also uh, Kevin Prince Boating according uh, to Yao Boating he's a former Black Stars management committee member he says Kevin Prince Boating is ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars and I'll be talking to you about why Ghanaians were raving about John Boy on Wednesday night after his amazing performance against the French champions at PSG. He put in a stalwart performance. I'll be talking to you about that today. As usual, if you're new, subscribe, click on the notification bell to get more updates. So I'll just jump right into it. I'll start from the good news. A new baby is born for Sule Ali Montari. The Ghanaian former Ghana Black Stars midfielder um, wanted to play for Kaiser Chiefs and also Accra had to fool. Kumasi Asante got also in the pipeline. He and his wife have welcomed their second baby. In an interview uh, with uh, GH1, his wife is former ex Miss Universe winner. She shared the news on GH1, saying that I did not intentionally hide it. Uh, but I think this time around, I just wanted to enjoy my family. I wanted a peace of mind. She added that sometimes when you post the maternity pictures, there is that kind of pressure and I was not in the frame of mind for any of that. Sule Montari and Menai Donko have a five-year-old son, Chamel, uh, together. So that is it there from Sule Montari, the welcome of their second child into the world. We wish them the very best. We wish them all the best in the world. We wish the baby the very best and we hope things move up from him for them. Sule Montari is no longer with the Black Stars, hasn't officially announced his retirement yet. My next story has to do with Kevin Prince Boating, another Ghanaian player who, following the fallout from World Cup 2014, was banned from ever playing for the Ghana Black Stars. He has come out, Yao Boating has come out to say that he is ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars. I have to say, this is really something I don't like to hear. Um, Kevin Prince Watting, amazing player by all standards, great, great, great gentleman. Uh, but um, the Ghana Black Stars uh, going back for Kevin Prince Watting, in my opinion, might not be optimal at this time. With calls for players like Asamwajan uh, to quit the Ghana Black Stars, I think Kevin Prince Watting will be the last person uh, Ghanaians would like to see the back of in a Ghana Black Stars jersey. But um, according to Yao Boating, he is saying that Kevin Prince Boating is ready uh, to play for the Ghana Black Stars. He said Kevin Prince Boating is ready to play for the Black Stars if coach CK Akono thinks he can fit into his tactics, he told Elmina based Ahonka FM. <laughs> it's quite interesting that we are still at this stage where we talk about players like Kevin Prince Boating rejoining the Ghana Black Stars and it was quite simple. Kevin Prince Boating was asked to apologize and Sule Montari along with him were also asked to apologize. Montari has apologized and sometimes apologies is not about being right. It's just about letting bygones be bygones and sometimes doing it is for your own good. It can be cathartic and be right for your own good and I, I don't know but probably he's not interested in the apology. Many people also say he did nothing wrong so he doesn't have to apologize and sometimes you don't apologize because you did something wrong. You apologize because you know you are right but you let it go anyway. But hey, we are all different human beings. How we choose to handle things can never be the same, should never be the same else wouldn't have an interesting world, a variety of people and variety as we all know is the spice of life. So. Nothing held against him, but yeah, Watting Jan here saying that 
um, he is ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars and uh, I think uh, with what has been stipulated he knows what to do and that is the apology until then I don't think CK Akono uh, would want to call him and also CK Akono has spoken to him on March 3rd he said as much that the Ghanaian was not ready doesn't think he's ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars uh, if anything has changed from now till then maybe probably uh, but uh, as far as CK Akono is aware Kevin Prince Boateng has not apologized has not said anything and to the best of his knowledge he doesn't think he was ready to play for the Ghana Black Stars that's it there from the end of uh, Ghana player Kevin Prince Boateng and on Wednesday night uh, Guardian player John Boy uh, broke the internet uh, yes yeah. the Ghana defender enjoyed an amazing game against uh, PSG the way John Boy was playing my goodness my goodness you'd wonder if this is the same John Boy that cost us a red card in our first game against Benin he was extremely careful he was so dedicated and we all know John Boy is a captain of Mets he's performing well with Mets side to end the captaincy there it's no me feet now the Ghana international broke the internet he left fans on Twitter drooling after shutting off the star studded PSG front line he took Paris Saint Germain 90 plus minutes to break the Maroons courtesy of a header from Julian Draxler now just by the loss John Boy stood out uh, with swash backling numbers has left several connoisseurs of the game in Wonderland. The 33 year old made 28 touches of the ball and 8 clearances. He also intercepted and won several duels three times apiece, uh, which uh, while winning one ground duel and one shot block. Uh, John Boy made an amazing sprint versus Angel de Maria, uh, which shocked a lot of people. We'll read through some of the comments, and someone was saying, Hey, John Boy, where they put like that? I mean, is that John Boy running like that? Ah! John Boy or some other guy after reading his stats that read that uh, John Boy central Ghana central defender John Boy 33 monstrous at the heart of Mets midfield uh, Mets back three tonight uh, tremendous tracking of the PSG lines of attack and Gatsi midfield interception play throughout uh, De Maria 84 John Boy 68 sprints speed and look at the difference in the way they were running a John Boy of Accelerator down fame strikes again. John Boy, if Liverpool buys John Boy, I swear Vedo Van Dijk is going to bench. No cap. John Boy has been a different mood. Simply an unpredictable gentleman. I hope he plays the same in Ghana. A John Boy hit up this season. Though. Only if most of you watch the game against Lille on Sunday. John Boy is some beast another comment coming in so John Boy is shining in the French league oh, unfortunately they lost however to PSG despite his amazing performance and versus them in that game many people were drooling about him on Twitter on social media was raving about his amazing uh, performance uh, let me know what you think in the comments box about John Boy is he your favorite Black Stars player um, let me know let me know what you think about John Boy in the comments box my final story has to do uh, with Ato Ranking, yes, <laughs> Nigerian musician begging Thomas Party to join Arsenal. And uh, now we all know Thomas Party has been a person of interest for Arsenal for so long since the spring, and still nothing has been forthcoming. In a tweet here, he says, If Thomas Party signs for Arsenal, two hours virtual performance with my band for him and his family and some Atletico Madrid fans so thomas that's quite a proposition let's see what thomas party says in the end so that has been it for today pato ranking says thomas party um join us now i'll give you two hours virtual performance and the matter chop hot all the stops are being pulled by arsenal fans to get party to sign for them and after obama young secured a three-year new contract it's now to tighten up that defensive midfield position also i've been talking to you about uh, yao boating jan he says kevin prince boating is ready to play for the Ghana black stars and suleiman tari welcomes his second child congratulations to him and the entire uh, family so let me know your thoughts in the comments box on these issues 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Have a great weekend.